right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Most definitely, y'all, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. And let us just thank the Lord for giving us another chance to seek his face. And let's just thank him for protecting us coming in and going out. Hallelujah. We got to thank him for his word, his only begotten son, down for our sins, his grace, mercy, favor, love, peace. I mean, just his patience, how slow the anger he is, the outstretched arm, the finger of God, the, 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 the mighty hand of God, just everything. Amen. We got to just stay thankful and grateful for everything, the gospel, the word. So much things the Lord has done for us that's countless. We can't keep track of it. So always stay appreciative and thankful and grateful. More praising, less complaining. Amen. I look to the hills. And where does my help comes from? It comes from the Lord, y'all. I know that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. I know that he did it for Noah, Job, and Daniel. I know he could do it for anybody out here. Hallelujah. So he's no respecter of person. So you take it one day at a time with your situation. And you keep pressed on looking towards what the Father has for you, amen. What the Lord has in store for you, keep pressing towards that, all right? And you keep seeking him all in all with a pure heart, okay? The pure, those with a pure heart shall see God, amen. So let us get our hearts right, y'all. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and support. It means a lot to me. I love you all. I'm praying for you all. Brothers and sisters in the faith, all four corners of the earth, let us always support and encourage one another in the Lord. Let us always uplift each other in Christ, y'all. You know, our situations are all complex and different, but we know the Lord is working it out for us and he's straightening us out in the process as well. Amen. So the Lord is purifying us. He is refining us. So that's why everything feels the way it feels right now. Okay. So have that patience and take it one day at a time and just thank the Lord for keeping you through and seeing you through. Hallelujah. Most definitely, people. Welcome, everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth. Yes, all ends of the earth, people, everybody, all kindreds, all of y'all. Praise the Lord, y'all. Give him all the glory. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Let all of God's creation praise him. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the plants, all the trees, all the fishes in the sea, all the birds in the air, the mountains, just everything. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Lord. Call on his name, sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, play an instrument, dance, rejoice. Do what you got to do to just thank the Lord in your way, express it and your love for him and reciprocate God's love with that obedience, y'all. Let us worship in spirit and truth and let us serve him with gladness and joy, okay? The joy of the Lord is our strength. We know that, all right? So let us always remind ourselves of that daily. Let us love the Lord our God, fire of our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back, amen? He is coming back like a thief in the night. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He has come back for a people who are spotless, blameless, and ready to go. So please keep your lamp, keep your oils, people. Let us be washed up by the water, through the word, by the word, y'all. Let's just stay ready for the Messiah's return and keep doing the great commission till he comes back. Keep doing Father's will, Father's business till he pulls up. Because the Messiah is now showing up by himself. He is bringing company. He is bringing Michael, Uriel, Gabriel. He bringing all of them out with him. So the Father's going to send them out, y'all. Amen. So... Let us stay ready for that. Hallelujah. Let us know the Lord personally. Let's get more closer to God. Draw near to God. He'll draw near to you. All right. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, and commandments. And let us obey all of his word. Anything the Lord has told us personally through our, for our lives regarding our gifts, our future, our calling, our purpose, any assignment or task God gave us, handle that. Amen. Do it di diligently and efficiently. Be effective with everything God calls you to do. Let us be firm with it. Amen. Amen, people. Hallelujah. All right. So, Hope that you all had a blessed week, a blessed weekend, blessed Sabbath. I pray that you all were able to enjoy yourselves and, you know, stay away from the vice of the world, man, and kind of calm down and cool off a bit. You know, it's a really crazy, fast-paced world, so you got to, you know, calm down as best as possible. I know a lot of people out there are dealing with anxiety or overthinking or stress or feel overwhelmed or burdened, but, you know, we we, we cast all our cares upon the Lord, amen, because he cares for us, amen, so we cast all our burdens upon the Lord and we submit to God and we know that God will exalt us in due time, and we know that the Lord will help us through our situation. He see all of it, amen. So 
Yes, yes, y'all. So what I'd like to do in this message is just go through a quick little news roundup, you know, not too long or what have you. Just go through tabloids of what's going on. And then from there, we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing. We'll close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise the only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's see what's going on with the Israel and Hamas war. Um, it's still going on. The Rainbow Bridge police identify a couple killed in the U.S.-Canada border crash. Man, some crazy stuff going on, people. All right. So as we know, it's Black Friday shopping. Let's see. American Dream Mall in New Jersey briefly evacuated on Black Friday over bomb threat. Wow. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Things going on with El Chapo and his people. Let's see. A heroic immigrant actually stopped stabbing that led to far right riot. Wow, man. Some wild stuff going on in America and outside of America. Okay. Let's see. Football being played during Thanksgiving Day. All right. Trump's Thanksgiving message attacks fraud, trial judge, and clerk. Let's see. Post-Thanksgiving storm moving through U.S. could disrupt plans to travel home. I know it's always hectic around this time of year when it comes to traveling on the road or at the airports. Things get really complicated and difficult for people who are trying to see their other significant ones or their loved ones or what have you, okay? Let's see what we have here. Pro-Palestinian protesters disrupt Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Let's see. Man, a lot going on, people, you know. That's why his prayer is all up for all four corners, you know. A lot going on in China. A lot going on in Iceland. A lot going on in Mexico, America, Europe, United Kingdom, Africa, Asia, man. I'm telling you, there's so much going on. It's, it's I'm telling you, man, prophecies being fulfilled in these last days like crazy. And... You know, we got to take it one day at a time, people, all right? There's probably a lot going on, obviously, in your neighborhood, in your city, in your area, region as well. So, you know, we always got to be prayed up around here, man, you know? Let's see what we have going on here. All right, there's respiratory outbreaks going on in China. Gaza truce and radicalization fears. German police arrest two people accused of smuggling 200 migrants in Europe. Wow. Fans brawl and clash with police before a Brazil, Argentina, Argentina World Cup qualifier. How Israel created a water crisis for Palestinians. Let's see, a lot going on with countries and resources, man. Man, a lot of people just going through it. Korea launched a missile as well. There's vaccines going out in Cameroon. All right, there's been an attack on the Myanmar and China border, okay, with, I think, nuclear warfare. So, I mean, it's a lot going on all, all over, amen. So, we just going to pray for everybody, all four corners of the earth, and um, wrap up this news roundup, okay? So, what I love to do as I close out this message is give all the praise, honor, glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen? Hallelujah, y'all. So, here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of hosts. Yes, yes, the true creator. Most definitely, y'all, the God of heaven and earth. He made all this, y'all. Give him all the glory, praise, and honor. All of it, people. All of it. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, he is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. Praise the Lord. His son is the second Adam, the last Adam. Praise the Lord, y'all, the advocate, the almighty, true, and living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atonement sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, the Eternal Life, the Everlasting Father, the Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and the Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born over all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Heir of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One, the Hope, the Hope of Glory, the Horn of Salvation, the I Am, the I Am, that I Am, the I Am, who I Am, the Great I Am, the Image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the Judge of Israel, the Judge, King Eternal. He is the King of Israel. Amen. He is the King of Kings. Hallelujah. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. King of Saints, King of the Ages, King of the Jews, the King, the Lamb. The Lamb of God, the Lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world, 
the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my high tower. The Lord is my good fortress. The Lord is my refuge. Yes, he is a sustainer. He is a sufficient one. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my buckler. Most definitely my redeemer, my deliverer, my branch, all of that. Yes, yes, y'all. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yeshua, Adonai, Elohim, yes, El Shaddai. Most definitely, Yahweh, the consuming fire, the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He's the great physician who can heal all things. He's the carpenter who can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rests on the seventh day. He can fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree. Hallelujah. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Most definitely, y'all. Yes, his outstretched arm, the mighty hand, the fear of God is going to do it, people. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for him, y'all. Call on him. He'll show you great, mighty things, people. He is a rewarder to those who seek him diligently, y'all. His word fails not. His word does not go void, people. Come on now. His words are forever, people. Yes, go get your miracle, go get your wonder, go get your sign, go get your healing, your deliverance, your restoration, get what you need from the Father, people. The Father is very generous with giving, people. He is a giver, y'all. Yes, yes. The Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten Son of God, our great God and Savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband. We know that faith pleases him. Come on. He's a reward to those who seek him diligently, y'all. Our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrificed Passover lamb. Most definitely the order of Melchizedek. Come on, y'all. The power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected, the life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example. The rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the rule of God's creation, the rule of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man. Yes, he is the radiant one. He is the perfect example, most definitely the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. The son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he's the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, the life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Yehosha Yehusha Yeshua. Yes, the true word of the consumer fire, y'all, most definitely. His word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in Psalms. His word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. Every word of God is pure, as the book of, Hebrew, as the book of Proverbs says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So his son is excellent for dying for our sins. His blood did clean up our mess. Amen. Yes, he is a seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy, the priesthood, order of Melchizedek. Come on, y'all. In the authority and the power and name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new insights, new miracles, new signs, new wonders, new creature in Christ, born again, born again in spirit and water, into the kingdom like a child, repent and get baptized, start your life over and get it together with the most high. He straightened out the crooked paths, people. He straightened it out, y'all. Let the Lord straighten you out. Let him purify you. Let him, come on, let him change you. Let him in yet. Let him in, y'all. Let the Messiah in. He's knocking on the door. Let him in fully. Come on, people. No more lukewarm stuff, no more backsliding, no more wishy-washy stuff. Man, stay on this narrow path and be firm in it. Hallelujah. Be brave and courageous and bold forevermore, people. Amen. Yes, so that's the word for today. Just a news roundup of what's going on all over the world, okay? So let's stay strong and take it one day at a time forevermore, people. Prayers up for all nations, all countries, all ends of the earth, all right? What I'd love to do as I close out is give you all this priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jairus Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.